glasses that I'm on. Let's <laughs> feel. Welcome to another episode of Are You Fishing? And today we're at the beautiful Gundawindi on the, I don't know, New South Wales or Queensland side on the McIntyre River. We are chasing the elusive Murray Cod with the possibility of obviously getting a bycatch of some yellow belly, but probably carp. So stay tuned. Hopefully uh, we'll get this little tinny out of the McIntyre River. It's cleaned up a lot um, and hopefully we can show you some beautiful Murray Cod. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so it's now coming down onto dusk. We've probably got about another hour, hour and a bit of sunlight before it really gets working. And I've got a mega pompadour that I'm gonna be throwing around in amongst these snags. Hopefully we can entice another big cod. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to go into these snags. There. There's a lay down just there. And I'm rolling the lure above that lay down, hoping that a cod comes out and just absolutely wallops it. If this does not look like cod territory, I don't know what does. Let's see if we can. Boat's still here, it's always good. Starting to get that first little bit of light. Let's go. All right, so it's pretty uh, pretty cold here. Okay. And uh, I don't think you're gonna find anything more cod-like country than this. That's one snag there. You got another big lay down. You got another lay down, another lay down. And this guy's a lay down, another one there. And then all through here, you can see it's just all lay down country. So there's gotta be something sitting around here. Come on, Cod, show yourself. All right, tried a little different technique, a bit of bobbing in the trees. And uh, we feel like we've got something. Another. He did get a bite, and I think we think he's taking him on the trees. So, see if we can see that rod tip moves. And he's down there, is he moving again? Or have you lost him? So I've decided to uh, hop onto the bank. Not much action was happening off the boat. We started bobbing, as you can see, and uh, being bobbing, I decided to go for a walk up the creek and have a little bit more of a fish, try and chase this big cod off the bank. I'm throwing, the sun's come up now, so I'm throwing a uh, pink spinnerbait, pink and black, and uh, let's see how we go. Fingers crossed. Nice big lay down just in front of me. Mm -hmm. We're up to 968 casts. And that's what you love. Probably going to ask, what's the, what's it doing on the left-hand side? And uh, it just allows me to use my stronger arm 
to strike and fight the fish in my weaker arm to reel in. But also, from here, I just click the button and cast. There's no, there's no changing hands, there's none of this stuff, there's none of this stuff, you know. And you just get that, you know, those extra few seconds to get in and really pays off, I think. So give it a try, put it on the left side, you'll find that you'll probably enjoy fishing a lot more. Where's that net chunky just down here? It's all hands on deck at the moment. Yes, it's a cod. Ah, okay, he's, he's good. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Keeper. Drop that. Come and grab me. He's a net. He's beautiful. He's a beautiful. Good. I want them. Right out. Back in closer. There you go. Right here. There you go. Yep. Right out. I'll bring him up. Just bring his face into the net. I don't want to. I haven't got too heavy gears. No, no, that's all right. He's a he's a beautiful cod. Mac. He's a beautiful McIntyre cod. Come on. Are you ready? Or yeah, 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 yeah. You just take your time. No, I'm only just wearing him out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hand in heart here. Heart and mouth stuff. Jeez, how he's beautiful. Oh, he's 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 yeah, wrapped he's, it around. He's, he's wrapped it around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, wrap it around. Oh, jeez, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> well done, high fives, well done. <laughs> there you go, spin a bait. Spin a bait, righto. Fantastic. Oh, jeez, I can't, he's I can't, he's good. Hey. He's a beautiful cod. Right, hold him up by the belly. Yeah. I want to get a measurement on him first. Well, I don't know where the tape measure is. It's but... in the top. Um, no, it's not. It's just here. Just take that net away. Oh, you break his neck. Hey? You break his neck. Why? So careful, you'll break his neck. Oh, what? Yeah. Why? I'm going to keep him. He's a keeper. Right. He's going to. I don't know where You don't want to kiss him, throw him back? No. No. Going home for a feed, eh? Oh. Well. What do you reckon? 65? He's only just keep up. So what length are they going to be? 60 centimetres in Queensland. Is it? Yeah. <sighs> Send it to Amy, she'd go. That's only a bloody small one. Yeah, I reckon he's 66. 66? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, even if it's 65 or 66, he's still a keep up. Oh, yeah. Good eating. What have you been eating, mate? Alright, underneath, put him on, put your hand underneath. Yeah, there we go. There we go, the money shot. Alright, well, anything to say, Dan? Oh, well, one to Dan, zero to Rady. <laughs> well, it's only early days, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Well done. We're back. We've just been out there for about two hours on the water. We've thrown bait at him, we've thrown everything, and as you've seen, we've collected the cod. Let me go and grab him for you. Here we go. He's an absolute beautiful specimen. 
Just pooping all over the tray at the moment. Big mouth, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, beautiful. Murray Cod, and he's coming at 67 centimeters, and he's uh, quite a hefty fella. So, I usually love throwing these guys back, but the bloke I'm with who caught it, he wants to keep it for a fee, take it home. And look, there's nothing wrong, there is limit to them. Um, but I would have loved to have seen him go back out there and eat a few more carp, personally. Can't we throw him back yet? No, nah, he's not now, he wants to have a feed. Nothing wrong with that, that's okay. So we'll cut him up, fill him up, and then go and see if we can catch another one. But if I'm catching one, I'm throwing him back. So Fantastic. people often ask, what do you throw at a cod? What do you throw at any fish? We were lucky enough to just catch a cod, 67 centimeters. And here's something I would recommend. I would definitely recommend, if you were gonna keep him, cut him up, see what he's eating. We've done that, and we've had the luxury of seeing that this is what they've been chewing on. Little bony brim. If you see the size, about the size of a finger. All right, just there. So now I'm gonna go through my tackle box and I'm gonna try and match the hatch and try and throw something similar to what they're eating and what's in the system. Hopefully we can fool them to catch a few more big ones. Just a little tip when you go fishing. Okay, so we're just packing up, heading home. Couldn't get any more happening, but we thought we might show you something interesting. It's what happens when you go into some private property in the, uh, there's no boat ramps. So, here's Dan. And here's... <laughs> he's off. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but... That's a big hike from there. Okay, so here is the Australian way of getting a boat up. A big rope. The rope's tied to the trailer. And Junkie's gonna drive off into the sunset and pull the boat up. Boat for sale, hardly used, great condition. Only seen fresh water. Light scratches, four grand or near offer.